first time that I went surfing is when I moved to California when I was 13. Um, my parents had sent me down to California for the summer from the state of Washington in Seattle. I had been really sick. I'd had a form of uh, rheumatic fever. I was really excited. My parents um, had sent me here and then I went back for the start of my eighth grade year and I just hounded my parents to move. Well, I thought it was just incredible just to get out in the water, to be just, you know, paddling in the ocean. You have the waves breaking over you and just having that exhilarating feeling of when you take off on a wave, you glide on the water and you just had a sense of excitement and freedom. So that's what I really liked about it. I really liked being in the open air and the water and the, the uh, it kind of heightens your senses when you're out there. Surfers are, are, uh, are a funny breed, you know, frequently, even when I was at USC, I'd wake up at four in the morning and, and bolt across the uh, 101 freeway and get over to uh, Ventura overhead and surf for a couple hours and then scramble back for a one o'clock class. So, you know, if there's a will, there's a way. Um, kind of the dream was to be like the Aussies. We wanted to travel all over. We wanted to um, follow the sun, live the good life. And the Australians in the 70s and 80s were kind of dominating surfing. That kind of um, fired up the spirit of adventure in us. And so, so I went down under to Australia, got a car with two buddies, and we traveled from uh, Sydney all the way up to Brisbane. This lady came walking up the beach and said, smiled at me, and she said, Hey, mate, what are you doing? And I said, I've just had a great surf. And she said, You're bloody crazy, There's but there's pointers out there. And that's the Australian slang for... Um, for great white sharks. So we scrambled off the beach back to our campground with our tails between our legs and thought, guy, we were kind of crazy. And these two little Aussie boys next to me were riding these really, these great waves next to me and they said, hey mate, where are you from? And I said, I'm from California. And they said, oh, you're, you're a Yank. And, and I said, how come you guys didn't go in when the bell rang? And they said, oh, we're not afraid of any sharks. Probably my favorite break is just getting to ride the Seal Beach Jetty, even though it's not the best wave because it's it's my home break. And surfers are kind of nostalgic that way. You know, you grew up there, you learned there. And I was going so fast and there were 200 people in the water and I was just going by person after person. <laughs> and it was just a perfect wave. I can remember certain rides, you know, it's bizarre. And you kind of can feel your heart going... Boom, 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 boom. So you, your adrenaline was really going because you were kind of a little bit on the edge. So that's part of the thrill of it. And everybody always, that's why people, what keeps you going, you know. And you won't, may only get two of those a week or two a month. You might have a lot of really average, non-memorable moments, but um, that's what keeps you um, coming back.